Hello everybody, welcome back to another video if you've been here before. If you've not, this is the extension channel to my main camping channel, Kent Survival, and I'll review the gear here that I use over there. Now a lot of you guys would have seen me use Bell Tent before. This behind me is the Canvas Tent Shop 4 meter Cocoon Deluxe Tent. Um, you've seen me use it in woodlands, in fields, all over the shop. Now this one behind me is actually a new version, so it's got a few updated features. Some of them features include improved zips, reflective guy ropes, comes with spare pegs and a patch repair kit, has room for an EHU electrical hookup for campsites, of course the stove jack. They now sew the instructions directly into the bag for you. And the Cocoon Deluxe does come in 3, 4, 5 and 6 metre. Behind me here, as I said, is the 4 metre Deluxe. Now you probably heard the wind picking up there, so I've moved over under the awning. This is an optional extra for the Bell Tents from the Canvas Tent Shop. Uh, I bought this one to go with the tent that they supplied for me. Uh, I've bought a couple of uh, additional kind of accessories so far. This is the best one. It's absolutely amazing. It really extends your living space when you're using the tent especially if you're getting bad weather like I am on this camp, I've had a lot of rain and it just gives you that little bit of air you can have the front open without worrying about rain coming in you've got somewhere to leave your boots if they're muddy it's just a great little extension now I wouldn't have a campfire directly under here but if you have it just outside and kind of off centre because of the guy rope you can enjoy that campfire from under the awning I also use it to store things such as firewood if I'm using a tent stove, a water container anything else you don't want in the tent with you. The awnings they do are available in 3.6 meter by 2.4 meter and 4 meter by 2.6. Obviously you need to bear in mind that they are going to be doubled over like an A-frame so that width you do need quite wide to get that coverage. They come with the poles, pegs, guys and a bag as well. Now I don't really have a wide enough lens to do this tent justice but it's absolutely massive. This will sleep four people easily and you've got this tent stove area as well. Now they do bedrooms, like inners, that you can hang inside them so you can have divisions there as well, or you can have it open plan. I myself on this trip have a single cot bed, which is just a collapsible one, but I've used an inflatable double mattress in here a lot just for myself as well. Now like I said, on this trip I've had a lot of bad weather and the breathable 350 GSM 100% cotton canvas material has kept me very dry. It's treated against rot and for waterproofness and you've got a PVC ground sheet built into it as well which is 500 GSM PVC. So it's safe to say you're going to stay dry in here and warm if you've got a stove as well. Now on the Cocoon Deluxe not only have you got a centre pole you've got an A-frame pole at the front here. That just sits in two pockets and you have a um, spike, for want of a better word, to hold it at the front and this opens up the front for the doorway. Now the doors themselves, you have the outer doors which are that cotton canvas material. They unzip of course and you can tie them back and you also have a mesh inner as well. So you can keep them uh, canvas doors open, have the mesh inner closed to keep the bugs out but still be able to see the outdoors and feel a bit of a breeze. As well as the zip up front doors, you've also got some half moon windows around the radius of the tent itself. Now these unzip and just flap down and you've got a mesh lining inside there so you can let a little bit of air in here on a hot day. An additional feature of this tent is the fact you've got a zip that goes all the way around the ground sheet connected to the outer and you can roll up them walls and just have a free floating roof. This could be great for festivals, you could use it as a communal area, camping, absolutely great, really opens it up, great for like a summer evening. At the peak of the tent we've got an area where it can breathe, this is great if you are using a tent stove because hot air can collect up there. Uh, there is mesh there as well just to stop bugs getting in also. I myself has got one of the Canvas Tent Shop's carpets, it's quite a thick one this but they also do synthetic fibre ones as well which roll a bit smaller. Uh, so I might be getting one of them in the future. But it's nice if you're winter camping just to keep your feet off the cold PVC floor. Now I love to use these tents in the winter. I've got one of the Winnerwell stoves that I use in here. It's the double view. And the lovely thing about the double view is the fact that you just see them flames all the way around and they're all lighting up the tent at night. It looks absolutely beautiful. When I'm camping in a bell tent I like to have a little bit of power. Something like a portable power generator. 
and you have many different lighting options in these. I myself have used everything from fairy lights, LED lights, wind up lights and there are many options available for you to try as well and some of these can be quite inexpensive. Now just a few tips on my experience of owning a bell tent. You do need some space to store it. It's quite a big bag and if you've got accessories, stoves as well, it's going to take up a lot of room in your garage or your attic or wherever. And that goes for transporting it as well. You do need to make sure you've got room for everything you're taking in your car, trailer, truck, whatever it is you do have. The next thing is if you do get it wet, if you do have bad weather, you're going to have to dry that before you pack it away. If you don't, you do risk getting mould. They are treated, but if it's packed away long enough and wet enough, you're probably going to get some mould, which is going to damage the tent. So make sure if you're out of sight or somewhere like that, you try and dry it before you go home. Or if you have to pack it away wet, when you get home, find somewhere, a garden big enough or something where you can set it up and dry it out. Another thing is if you're using a stove, get yourself a carbon monoxide alarm. Um, they're designed to work in such a way that it shouldn't be getting any back smoke on carbon monoxide, but it's best to have one, stick that up on the tent pole or wherever, and you just know that you're safe. Now the size of these things that they are, they don't take as long as you might think to put up. They're pretty much like a standard TP style tent. You just peg out your inner, put in your poles, and you're pretty much there once you've guyed out the edges. Now this can be done by one person. I've done it myself many a time without too much of a struggle. When you are packing away, you do have to jump up and down on it a bit just to cram it down to get it back into the bag. But uh, other than that, one person can do it just fine. I'd also personally recommend getting a separate ground sheet. They do these thin tarp type ones that are the same size and shape as the bell tent. And it just keeps the bottom dry for when you are packing it away. But yes, all in, I've been extremely happy using these bell tents from the Canvas Tent Shop. A British company, which is absolutely great as well. Very friendly staff, chatted to them a lot, really friendly. So uh, yeah, I'll put some links down below, you can check them out. They've got many versions of bell tents and other canvas products and accessories as well. Plus they do sell the Winner Well range of stoves and fire pits like I've got here today. Um, like I said, I'll put all them links below. Uh, this isn't a paid for review or anything like that. They did supply the bell tent originally, but I've used it many, many a time. Talked about it many times. I'm under no obligations here. Um, just love it. Great company, great tent. So thank you guys very much for watching. That's Tiggy behind me, <laughs> staying with me this weekend. I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye for now.